week. So I thought for our first week back at school, I would make it super simple and we would have crock pot breakfast, crock pot dinner, and then a different kind of sandwich every day for lunch just to make it super easy. So on Sunday, we have crock pot egg and ham bake, a sandwich. And for dinner, we're having a French dip crock pot sandwich. Those are our favorite, love that. And then on Monday, we're having breakfast with a bang overnight, slow cooker casserole, a sandwich, crock pot, chipotle, barbacoa. That is awesome. If you want these recipes, they're linked below and I show you how they turned out for us at the end. So be sure to watch that and all of the bookmarks are in place if there's one specific one you'd like to see. And then on Tuesday, we're going to have French toast, slow cooker casserole, a sandwich, and then I didn't finish writing that, but it's supposed to be slow cooker orange chicken. I need to write chicken there. I must have been very distracted this week when I made this menu. And then on Wednesday, we're having slow cooker apple crisp, a nice just kind of warm way to start a school day, and then sandwich, and then chicken tater tot slow cooker casserole. And then on Thursday, we're having crock pot biscuit casserole, one of my favorite crock pot breakfast, a sandwich, and then sweet and savory slow cooker chicken legs. That's a super simple one. Very few ingredients, very um, little thought involved in prepping it. So that is easy and affordable, a budget meal. And then on Friday is overnight carrot cake slow cooker oatmeal. Looking forward to that. Sandwich, cheesy crock pot cowboy casserole for dinner. And then on Saturday is a Southwest crock pot casserole, a sandwich and slow cooker barbecue beef ribs, which I'm sure my husband will very much enjoy. So that is what's on the menu this week. And like I said, look for those bookmarks, pick out your favorite ones, see how they turn out. And all the recipes are linked below. Be sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on what's on the menu next week. This is going to be one of the tastiest, most simple dinners. You can throw this on in the morning, do all your things during the day, and come back to a really delicious dinner that didn't take a lot of effort. So you're going to want a chuck roast, French onion soup, some beef broth, about four tablespoons, and four cups of water, and then some rolls to serve it on. We're going to cook our chuck roast with all of these things on low for eight hours or on high for six hours. And then you're gonna take a fork, pull it apart, put it on your rolls, and then take the juices and put them in a little cup on the side to dip your sandwich in. Dinner is done, that simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all in my crock pot. Do you ever do this? You forgot to defrost your meat and you have a small crock pot, it doesn't fit in. Oh my goodness, do I need to cancel my crock pot meal? No, you don't. Go ahead and add all your liquids in there and prepare it just the same way as you always would. Put the lid on even though it doesn't shut. It'll take a little bit longer to cook, but it'll still cook and it's still going to be moist and it's still gonna be delicious. So throw that frozen meat in there and don't be afraid of it. I'm going to put on my lid and I'm not gonna worry that it doesn't even shut. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on high since mine is frozen and it's gonna need that little bit of extra. Now I'm gonna wait a few hours and have a really great dinner. This has been cooking on high for about 50 minutes now and the lid is already dropped down and it's already unfrozen enough for that to happen. So again, don't be afraid of frozen meat. It'll all work out. Guys, I am just pulling this apart and then I'm gonna throw it back in those juices. I wish you could taste this. And there is a shredded French dip sandwich, the easiest meal ever, nice and warm and ready for dinner. Today's crock pot breakfast is breakfast with a bang. Now you can cook this on slow overnight, but I've chose just to cook it on high for two hours this morning. So I've woken up a little bit early to get this going and hopefully by the time the children are awake and hungry, this will be ready. So what you need, some tater tots, sour cream, some shredded cheddar cheese, any of your favorite cheeses will do, an onion, bacon, sausage, some cream, you can substitute this with milk if you would prefer, 12 eggs, and some green onion. Some pepper would also be great in this recipe if you prefer that. So that's what we need. I'm gonna go ahead and brown my sausage and bacon to make this go quickly and then put it all in my crock pot. First, I'm going to crack my 12 eggs into this bowl, and then I'm going to mix that with some salt, some pepper, 
half a cup of sour cream and half a cup of heavy whipping cream. And then I'm going to whisk all that together and this will be one of the layers in our crock pot. You said the same thing I told ya My eyes are clear, there's no secret I wanna know, was it serious? I need it clear, my best friend Is it easy to sh- Look at this, my poor whisk, my children were playing with it and it's seeing better days. I don't know if I can bend it back, I bought this whisk right after I got married in Australia. Is it weird to be sentimental about a whisk? <laughs> I'm gonna have to get sentimental about a new one because I think I'm gonna need it. Okay, I have poured my baking grease and the um, sausage grease into the bottom of my crock pot. You also can just grease your crock pot with some butter or some oil. I'm a firm believer that if you have beautiful pasture-raised meat, that those oils that come from it are really good for you. So I poured that in and I'm gonna throw these tater tots into the bottom. Now I have my sausage, bacon, and all of my different onions on this plate. And I am just going to scoop a layer of that over this. We're gonna go ahead and pour our egg mixture over the tater tot sausage and bacon. That's our next layer. About half of your mixture. And I'm going to sprinkle some of that cheddar cheese into the middle. I didn't even fully grade this. That's fine, you won't be able to tell <laughs> in this. It'll all melt together. Okay, so there's that. And now I'm going to repeat it again. I'm going to put another layer of tops. All right, and then I'm going to put the rest of my meat. I'm going to pour the rest of our eggs and the rest of my cheese. I am going to leave that on high for two hours. I love that this is just a set and forget kind of meal. I am going to go drink some coffee and start prepping myself for school. This is such a great first week back to school menu. Just easy crock pot meals so I don't have to think too much and sandwiches. Our crock pot breakfast is ready to go and it smells so good. What an easy way to make breakfast for your family. Look at that. That is a yummy breakfast. We have our chuck roast in the crock pot. First thing we need is two tablespoons of olive oil. I am just gonna I'll eyeball that. That's probably more than two tablespoons. Now we're gonna coat our chuck roast in some salt. I am going to throw in all of my chopped onion and garlic. This is all of my seasonings. The recipe will be below in the description. And then I have my 12 ounce can of chipotles. Now you can add in half a cup of water or a beef broth. And I have all of that good beef broth from last night's dinner. So this is more than half a cup, it's a cup, but I think that's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna pour that in, put the lid on, and it already smells so good. And I can't wait to see what comes of this. And our barbacoa chipotle dinner is done. I am going to serve it on tortillas. And a wonderful side with this would be cilantro lime rice. And it is fantastic, super yummy, and a little bit of a spicy punch to it. All right, this morning we're going to start our French toast crock pot casserole. All you need is some brown sugar. Any bread will do. I love a good brioche whenever it comes to French toast and some chopped pecans, eight eggs, salt, and vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, I have whole nutmegs, um, ground just fine, fourth a cup of maple syrup, and two cups of milk, and that is it. And I am going to get all of this in our crock pot. It's gonna cook on high for about two hours, and it should be done just in time for when the children want it.
beautiful helper is over here helping me make the topping. You're supposed to put butter into this bowl. However, my oldest daughter made French macaroons yesterday and used all of my butter, but she had some leftover buttercream in the fridge and that will do just fine because buttercream is just butter, powdered sugar, and a little bit of vanilla and that'll do fine on top of this casserole. So let's get some cinnamon and brown sugar mixed in there and then we're gonna throw that topping over our bread. And the recipe is linked below. Probably a bit much brown sugar, but that's okay. And my little helper is gonna stir it all together for us. And done. Okay, now at this point, I'm going to stir this around and make sure that all of this bread is good and soaked in that egg mixture. After I'm sure that it's all good and soaked, I'm going to pour on a bunch of these pecans. I'm just going to put this brown sugar mixture all over the top. It doesn't have to be perfect. So all of that sugar and butter and cinnamon is just going to melt all over this as it cooks. There we go. All right, I'm gonna switch that on high. It'll be done in two hours. All right, guys, this is done. It smells delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed my kids. This was so easy, such a great warm breakfast for a fall day. <laughs> Dinner tonight is sesame orange chicken. This is the tastiest and really actually very simple crock pot meal. I'm excited to share it with you. I'm gonna use my handy dandy little Wusthof knife. This is my favorite chopping knife. If I can find it, I'll link it below for you, but I'm wearing it out. <laughs> I absolutely love this knife. Okay, I'm gonna need some olive oil, some sesame seeds. Those are from Walmart. A few green onions, garlic, rice vinegar. I found this at Aldi. I know it's one of those odd things and I picked mine up at Aldi. If you can't find it though, you can use a little bit of regular vinegar or you actually can just skip the vinegar altogether. I'm not a professional chef, I'm a mom chef. <laughs> and this is gonna taste really tasty, even if you don't have any vinegar in it. I've done it before. Okay, so that, <laughs> and you're gonna need some sesame seed oil. This is from Walmart in the Asian food section. I have my orange marmalade that I made and canned myself. If you've never done this before, you really should. It's so simple. It's a really easy kind of beginner canning recipe and it's really good. So we're gonna use that and some soy sauce and that is it in our chicken. So I'm gonna use three chicken breast and I'm gonna chop them up into one inch cubes and then throw all of this in there. So let's start chopping. Your green onions and sesames will be sprinkled on at the very last when it's all cooked. Okay, let's start. Here's our crock pot orange chicken. I served it with rice. I garnished it with green onions and sesame seeds. And guys, this is delicious. So simple, really yummy meal for a weeknight dinner. Is it good pumpkin? Tonight for dinner is a chicken tater tot slow cooker casserole. So we have our tater tots, half a cup of milk, salt, some sour cream, onion powder, garlic, some cream of chicken soup, some bacon, and some sharp cheddar cheese. I always freeze my cheese in these little blocks and they do perfect for recipes like this. Because as you know, I buy a lot of cheese at Sam's. All right, so we are gonna throw all of this in our crock pot and start dinner. I almost forgot to mention you'll also need some chicken <laughs> for this recipe. Two or three big chicken breasts or six chicken thighs will do great for this recipe. we're gonna throw in our chicken. However, I'm not gonna use chicken like the menu says. I actually have some leftover pork chops and I have diced them up and I'm going to add them to this crock pot meal. Use what you have and in case you didn't know, chicken and pork chops are actually interchangeable in most recipes and yes, you can actually add raw pork all chopped up in here as well. But again, I had some leftover pork chops and I don't like to waste anything. So I have chopped that up and we are gonna use pork for this recipe instead and it will be delicious. We're gonna get our can, our large family size can of cream of chicken in here as well. Just pour that right in the middle. 
And now we're going to add about half a cup of sour cream, our half a cup of milk, and our onion powder, about a tablespoon. That's probably a bit much. There we go. Eyeball that, <laughs> mom chef. And our salt. And a couple cloves of garlic. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of our tater tots on top. You can make this pretty if you want. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it in. Now we're gonna throw in our sharp cheddar cheese and frozen cheese grades just fine. However, it can be a little bit crumbly, but it doesn't really matter in these crock pot recipes. So <laughs> don't be afraid to freeze your cheese. It'll do just fine. Okay, at this point, I'm going to put my lid on. I'm gonna turn mine on high to get it done. And it will be a good bubbly hot dinner without too much thought put into it. So that is fantastic. I almost forgot to tell you, your bacon, you can cook that and crumble it on the top at the end, or you can just skip this step completely, or you can buy bacon crumbles to make your life easier. Um, and I am gonna slice a green onion to put on top at the very end as well. I have already served dinner, but as you can see, this was a nice, warm, gooey dinner, and my children enjoyed it. Breakfast is super simple today. So today is a biscuit and egg crock pot meal. So I'm gonna line the bottom of my slow cooker with some biscuits and I'm gonna whisk together some eggs, some milk and some cheddar cheese. And then I'm gonna pour that on top of the biscuits with a little bit of salt and pepper. If you want, you can cook and crumble some bacon on top. It'll cook on high for an hour and a half and then I will have a tasty, yummy crock pot meal that will feed my small army with minimal effort. This is a great thing to make for maybe a busy morning when you're gonna have a crowd over and you just need to be able to set something on and forget about it for a while. So we're gonna put this together. <laughs> All right, our bubbly biscuit egg breakfast is finished. This is one of the easiest recipes I'm going to do this week. It's just some sweet and savory chicken legs. So I have jam, ketchup, soy sauce, garlic, cup of this, half a cup of this, a third cup of this, a few pieces of garlic. I'm sorry, my toddler, she wants me. So <laughs> I need to go. I'm gonna throw all of this in the crock pot with some drumsticks, put the lid on and forget it and go for a walk with my children. They're waiting for me, but super simple. Super yummy. Dinner is done. Sweet and savory. Drum Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss out on what's on the menu next week, guys. I hope you have a fabulous week. And until next time, bye.